Discover the world of Disney's animated storybooks and step inside. Thanks! Open up the Lion King and follow Timon, your guide. Now, what do you want to do? Through a jungle adventure just like the movie. But you make it all happen. With wise old Rafiki to help with special words and important ideas. Prince! The son of a king is called a prince. You'll find animated surprises every step of the way. Sneak up on Zazu for pouncing practice. Help Timon rustle up some grub. Mm. Tastes like chicken. And lead Simba back home to save the Pride Land. Or open up Winnie the Pooh and suddenly you're inside the Hundred Acre Wood. Meet Pooh and all his friends. Hello. Sing along, play along, and read along. Everyone arrived to help remove Pooh from Rabbit's front door and open up Disney's newest animated storybook, Pocahontas. Now, it's your turn to play with Pocahontas and her animal friends. It's Miko! From Disney Interactive to your home computer, Disney animated storybooks, stories you'll love, just waiting for you to make them come to life. present this special commemorative edition of the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Given the popularity of the Winnie the Pooh characters today, it may seem hard to believe that they started out as bedtime stories for one little boy. This original Pooh Bear was a first birthday gift for A.A. A. Milne's son, Christopher Robin, in 1921. Edwin Bear was renamed Winnie the Pooh based on a Canadian black bear at the London Zoo named Winnipeg and a swan named Pooh. Mr. Milne was a successful author and playwright who used the friendship between Christopher Robin and Pooh as his inspiration for the bedtime stories he told his son. These stories also featured other characters from Christopher Robin's nursery, including the timid piglet, the ever gloomy donkey named Eeyore, and the constantly bouncing tiger called Tigger. The tales of Christopher Robin and his menagerie of stuffed nursery companions were the basis for a set of children's verses that became the Winnie the Pooh books. These stories had been favorites of Walt Disney's daughters. Remembering how much they enjoyed these characters, he was inspired to share them with children around the world. He brought together the many creative talents at the studio to develop and create this film masterpiece. Disney's 
Inspiration, guidance, and supervision made the film a classic. The inspired artistry is apparent throughout, from the concept art and storyboards to the animation, music, and voices. Actor Sterling Holloway provided the voice for Pooh. Sebastian Cabot was the narrator. Character actor John Fiedler was Piglet. And the talented Paul Winchell was the voice of Tigger. Well, I tried to put together <laughs> Exuberant, which was a guy who was very excited, you know, all the time. And uh, 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 just uh, <laughs> with his laugh and everything. <laughs> the wonderful thing about Tigger is Tigger the wonderful things. The tops are made of the rubber, the bottoms are made of the strings. The bouncy, flouncy, 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 flouncy. Uh, But the most wonderful thing about Tigger is I'm the only one. I'm the only one. The original concept was to develop Pooh as a full-length animated feature. But Walt decided to break the film up into short featurettes. These charming stories were not as familiar to Americans as they were to the British. And Walt believed that Pooh would be much more popular if he was allowed to build up an American following. Uh, who are you? I'm Pooh. Oh, Pooh. <laughs> sure. Uh, what's a Pooh? You're sitting on one. I am? Oh, well, glad to meet you. Composers Richard and Robert Sherman remember Walt's decision to make featurettes. Walt said, you'll see. Once we have people aware of the Winnie the Pooh characters, the next time around it'll be much, much bigger, and it'll become classic. It'll become a uh, masterpiece. Watch and see. Walt Disney's prediction did come true. The first featurette was released in 1966 to wide popular acclaim. The second film was even more popular than the first, winning an Academy Award. By the time the third featurette was released, Winnie the Pooh had become a household name. Walt's original vision was finally realized in 1977, when The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh was released as Disney's 22nd feature-length animated film. We never will forget our hero of the witch, our quick thinking on thinking Pooh's bed. We are proud to present this special commemorative edition marking the 30th anniversary of Pooh's theatrical debut, not only because it reflects Disney's original vision for Winnie the Pooh as a feature, but because it also embodies the spirit of youth and childhood as seen through the eyes of Christopher Robin and his animal friends and shared by generations of the young and young at heart. Sit back and enjoy the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. And Piglet too.